and brethren. Welcome sa aning God's Word for today devotional. Patuloy tayo sa Galatians. Nandito na tayo sa verse 6 to 9. Galatians 1 verse 6 to 9. Ako'y namamangha na napakabilis ninyong iniwan siya na tumawag sa inyo sa biyaya ni Kristo at bumalik, bumaling kayo sa ibang ibanghelyo. Hindi sa may ibang ibanghelyo kundi mayroong ilan na nanggugulo sa inyo at nang nanais na baluktuktin ang Ibanghilyo ni Kristo. Subalit kahit kami o isang anghel mula sa langit ang mangaral sa inyo ng Ibanghilyo na iba sa aming ipinangaral sa inyo ay hayaan siyang sumpain. Gaya ng aming sinabi noong una at muli kong sinasabi sa ngayon kung ang sino man ay Mangaral sa inyo ng ibanghilyo na iba kaysa inyong tiyanggap na ihayaan siyang sumpain. Paul had emphatically expressed here the importance of proclaiming and believing the true gospel. Na talang suriin natin na kung ang ating panampalataya ay nandoon sa tamang gospel, the true gospel. Kasi po, isa lang po ang tunay ng gospel. And everything else and everyone else is fake. Hindi totoo. There's only one true gospel. Ang ginawa ni Panginoon si Kristo was a historical event. And that event cannot be denied. It was an act done in the past and it is proven historically. And its implications cannot be amended. So, ang event na yan can be told in different ways and it could be distorted in different ways. But there is only one true event, one gospel. Because the gospel is not a suggestion. The gospel is not an opinion. It is an event. What Christ has done at the cross, three days later, He rose again from the dead. You know, namatay siya, inilibing, tatlong araw, nabuhay ulit. The implications of that is Christ, who is the Son of God, died for our sins and then He rose again in order to conquer sin, death, and hell. So that tayo na nanampalatay sa Kanya ay hindi na mahukuman because we are forgiven from our sins and we have eternal life. This gospel that brings salvation is purely by grace alone. Through faith, nothing else. Sabi pa si Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of work, so that no one may boast. However, the Christians of Galatia had turned to a different gospel. Now, with this, malaman natin that they were not really strong in their grasp of the true gospel because ang dali nila na nagdala ng sinungaling. They turn to a different gospel, another gospel. Sila po ay mga, sila po ay nadayaan ng mga Judaizers. They were Judaizers who infiltrated into their camp. They troubled them and distorted the gospel so that they believe now a flawed gospel, another gospel. Ang mali ay o ang ang kamalian ng isang gospel ay hindi naman na buong ang lahat ay mali kundi there is just one portion of the gospel that is tweaked that is drawn into bloat, um, bloated into proportion katulad na may isang picture you know palakihin lang ng tainga palakihin lang ng ang ilong na hindi nang tama na itsura it's already distorted, a caricature, something like that. They tweak one aspect of it and the whole gospel becomes unacceptable. So, maaring 
nagtuturo sila that you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ died at the cross, buried, and three days later, He, he rose again. Pero kulang yun. Dagdagan pa natin ng nagawa ng kabutihan, susundin ng law. You know, that distorts the whole implications and truth of the gospel because the gospel is enough. We are saved by the gospel alone and nothing else. Christ's death at the cross was a perfect sacrifice. When he said it is finished, it is finished, it is completed. Nothing can be added to it or subtracted from it because it's complete and accepted by the Lord Jesus, by, by, the, by the Father as the perfect sacrifice. And Paul was so astonished that they quickly deserted Christ who called them to his grace. Because believing this good gospel is tantamount to going against Christ. You know, kung maniwala tayo sa ibang gospel, para bang we are going against Christ. Bakit ba ganyan ang feeling, ang, ang sentimento ni Pablo? Because it is an insult to Christ. It is an insult to the perfect, complete sacrifice na tinanggap ng Panginoong Ama. No? May idagdag pa ba tayo sa ginawa ni Panginoong Kristo sa cross? Anything that you will add to, to, to the gospel destroys and distorts the gospel and even make it like abominable sa harap ng Panginoon that sabi pa ng Panginoon, let him be anathema. If we preach another gospel, let him be accursed. That, that is a strong statement na sinasabi ni Pablo dito sa so verse 8 and 9. Sabi pa niya, But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed or anathema. As we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one you receive, let him be accursed. Absolutely, wala nang ibang gospel. And in fact, in Acts chapter 4 verse 12, there is salvation in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Christ alone, by faith alone, grace alone. Yun po ang gospel. Wala na po tayong idagdag dyan. Anything that man and will corrupt the gospel. This should catch our attention. Because ang dami po nating naririnig ngayon na preaching online sa YouTube. Ang dami po nating naririnig. There are a lot of, of uh, preachings we hear today and they claim and it will, it will, it's preaching claims that they preach the gospel. But ours is the responsibility to discover whether this is what the Bible is saying. Let us be noble like the Berians because narinig nila si Pablo pero sinusuri nila ang Biblia kung tama bang sinasabi ni Pablo. Let's not just believe. Let's not just swallow hook, line, and sinker to everything that we hear because hindi lahat na nagsasabi na this come from the Bible that are honest sa Bible. Some are distorting the gospel and it's not the true gospel. It's another gospel. It's always through the Christ alone, by faith alone, nothing less, nothing more, nothing else. May it be that we we'll always embrace this true gospel and champion to proclaim and declare this to the least and to the lost. Manalangin tayo. Lord, thank you so much that you have given us the opportunity to hear the true gospel. Thank you, dear Father, for the salvation that we have free good news and there's no other good news except that this news that you send your only begotten son the lord jesus christ in order to die for our sins once for all that we who will believe will receive salvation will never be judged there is no more condemnation to those who are in christ Salamat, Panginoon. Meet me that you'll give us more opportunities to be a herald sa gospel, sa aming mga loved ones, sa aming mga friends, 
Panginoon, gamitin niyo kami ng daluyan that we'll be able to proclaim the true gospel. Para po ang mga kasinungalingan ng Diablo ay hindi magpatuloy. The truth must be preached, the gospel must be preached in order that the lies of the enemy will not continue to proliferate. Use us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.